Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome back to Drive Club. I've been really wanting to try the new replay mode out, so this video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be playing Drive Club normally, drifting, and then we're going to switch in and out of the replay cam just to see what we can achieve with a couple of minutes of playing. So we're driving the Beamer today, looking freaking awesome in this white, but here we go. First attempt at drifting. We went off-road a little bit when we got it back. They have actually somewhat changed the drifting mechanics of this game. I, as far as I'm aware, they said it in a patch note thing. Oh! They've also changed some things to do with mirages. You'll see them in the distance, like little... It looks like little pools in the distance, but it looks really freaking awesome. Here we go! Come on! Keep it going! The physics have now become really weird for drifting, like, you have to turn into it sometimes. You can see a mirage look, you can see it. Look at that. Freaking beautiful. I wonder if you can actually see them on the replays. You'll be able to, you'll be able to tell me that once we uh, get to the replay, because I'm going to record the replay after. So it's really cool, anyway, that they've added the replay editor in. The new Lamborghini DLC is coming out, and I'm going to be making a full use of the replay editor once we uh, get to sit in those Lamborghinis and... Pretty much every future Drive Club video. Hopefully, they very quickly add in the multiplayer one. Move it, please, LD! I've got a little bit of a scratch on my beamer now, probably. Right, let's go for some cockpit view in a second. Let's see how we can pull this off. I'm bloody terrified now. Here we go! You know, I'm actually really tempted to make some form of, like, Need for Speed Most Wanted beamer out of this beamer. Like, it's not really possible. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit the wall. <laughs> It's not really possible to get the full-on thing. He's going to try and take us. He's going to try and take us. Brake check! Oh. Cock. Well, I'm just going to get past you anyway, mate. Come on! I'm sure that was a decent slide, that. I want to go back to the rear cam, because people will complain about me staying in combat for too long. Now, five laps is the set I've put, because I thought, hey, that might be pretty cool. Come on! Ah. Now, one thing to, I just wanted to touch base on is the whole thing that Evolution Studios has had some, um, has some, well, sackings, basically. They're closing, closing a few of the, I say closing, they're not closing the studio. They're getting a f uh, rid of a few people here and there, and uh, they're still working on getting the PlayStation Plus version of this game out, which is still, like, it's, it's a big bloody thing, like, that they've cl uh, got rid of some of the people. It's... One of those things where you can understand it, but you're really grateful that they are actually going to consider, you know, looking for more jobs in the, in the, you know, inside their own company, Sony, for these people, because they're really talented guys and they're all passionate. You can tell, I was saying to, to Nick and such, you can tell when someone is passionate about a game. And with Drive Club, definitely. They are definitely passionate about this game. They update it, they change the handling model mid, you know, a couple of months after the game's come out, they make a change to the handling model. Same as the crew, you don't get that kind of dedication from other companies, and I think that's freaking awesome, and, you know, hopefully the app works too, because I'm really, that's probably one of the most, most hyped things. If you go back to my old Drive Club videos, I was really excited to see the freaking app, and the app still hasn't arrived, the app doesn't work. Even if the app didn't have all the functions yet, I would just really love to play with the app right now. I actually started talking to Paul, uh, who is the kind of lead guy on this game, just so you know. Um, he was actually asking me about what I meant, because I, I asked about uh, implementing a feature. And I was actually asking about being able to change the degree of rotation. And they're going to be doing that. I don't know if they've done it. I, they might have actually done it. They might let me like change it now, and it doesn't automatically switch. So that's pretty cool that they actually, they actually followed me to get more input from me. Don't you dare, Audi, this is my position. Don't make my replay look shite. Oh my god! Oh my god! We got some decent revs just kicking on there. No trouble at all. Back to the cockpit camera. I forgot that I could switch to the cockpit camera inside the replay camera as well. Loudy, why would you stop in front of me, you freaking baboon? This is just power. This is just power. Okay, I hit the brake. <laughs> to flick it out towards the end there. This beamer sounds so tame in the cockpit view. I love doing this on Drive Club, just like, that was a power slide. That was, <laughs> that was a literal power slide right there. All right, come on, get this corner good. I like this corner. Keep it nice and s subtle, but smooth. 
That corner's a really long one, so you have to kind of change the way you're going to do it. Don't hit the wall, because that wouldn't work at all. Where's the way on the fourth lap? Right, come on. Here we go. No! Come on! Stop! What a shame. <laughs> we almost had that. If I kept that going, then that would have been freaking awesome. If we went to more highly-powered cars, we'd easily be able to keep that drift going. Easily. I like challenging myself with these slightly less powerful cars. Because, well, I don't know, they just feel a bit more... Me like, it's, it's simple enough to go around drifting in a freaking big Hennessy Venom. It's not difficult at all, really. And this... Oh, I, I haven't even been mentioned this GT wheel. For anyone that's considering in the future to get this for their wheel setup, go get it now. You guys know that Thrustmaster has always been really open and just say to me, like, give your actual opinion. Just don't give a damn. Um, if you think it is shite, say it's shite. The only thing I can say that, that I don't like about this is the kind of string starting to come off already. But that's something that's, you know, easily sortable. I can do that myself and just get it out of the way and just rip it off. I don't bloody know, you know. I, I can sort that. Um, and just to say again, you know, the shifter, I didn't do a review on it just yet. But you can see that I'm not using it. I've been using the flappy paddles. And the reason is, Drive Club doesn't support the H-gate at all. Um, and I don't really find that it just it becomes really tedious to change it to the to the other one. So that's one negative about the shifter. Um, changing between sequential and H gate is is quite annoying. It would be cool if you could just have it like this and you kind of go like that yourself, honestly, because then I wouldn't have to switch it. But no, you have to switch the whole thing, and it's really really tedious. So I, I don't even bother. I just stick it in the H gate and because that's what I mostly want to play. So hopefully Project Cow supports H gate. Otherwise, I'm just gonna cry and use flappy panels for the rest of my life. Oh, oh! Another decent slide there. That Audi is sticking behind. He does not want to leave us alone. One thing to note: this Audi, I've actually put him on the easiest difficulty because I didn't want to look like a prat getting overtaken when I'm sliding around. Because obviously, I'm not really trying to win this race. I'm drifting everywhere at the same time just to see what the replay looks like but yeah I, I expected him to be a little bit further behind this is on the easiest difficulty it's not breaking that was absolutely dreadful he's gonna try and take me no you don't Tony we're, we're bumping and grinding here getting a bit intimate come on if this was with a controller it would be so much easier to drift and I'd be able to pull off much better drifts but I much prefer using the wheel for drifting it just feels awesome. Once I get it spot on and learn how to properly drift in this game, which I will do, once the Lamborghinis come in, I'm going to go like crazy on this game again like I did at launch. I will, you know, be in love with this game once again for the new Lamborghinis, the new freaking races to do again. I love Drive Club for that reason. But we're coming up to the finish. Let's give it a final spin at the end. I like doing this. Here we go. Reverse gear, reverse gear. Did he beat me? Did he beat me? Did he beat me? Don't tell me I just gave him the race by pulling off a stupid move like that. I did give him the race. Look at the time! Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It was a more laid-back video just to test out the replay camera for some little experimenty things I especially want to do for the Lamborghini once that launches, or the Lamborghinis. But uh, as I said, if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, peace.